All right, Don W6 GPS, and um, the other day I posted a little video about uh, what am I going to do with my 590 now that I've got me an 890 on, uh, on the 890 uh, Facebook page. And I got all sorts of comments about how did you do that. And what are we doing is now you got that spare 590 because you bought an 890. So you're gonna make the five today. We're gonna show you how to make the uh, 590 a uh, sub receiver in split operations. So a couple things you're gonna to need to do. First of all, make sure the firmware is up to date on both radios. Uh, number two, uh, you're gonna need a uh, DB9 female to female uh, null cable, not straight through, but null. And uh, also you're gonna need a shielded cable with RCA uh, male connections on each end. Don't, don't uh, connect the cables until we first set up the menus and the radios. So on the 590, we're going to go to menu and we're going to dial up uh, using our multi-channel and we're going to go to uh, menu number 64. Menu number 64 and you can see it right here. Transfer and we're going to turn that on. Transfer split frequency uh, data. Next thing you're going to go up to is uh, number 65, menu 65, copy split data to VFO and you're going to go ahead and turn that on. Um, I don't, I'm using one antenna with both radios and I'll explain that uh, to you uh, by using the receive in and out. But anyway, I would go ahead and turn number 66, the TX inhibit, uh, turn that on so it doesn't transmit. There's nothing connected to this radio uh, for it to transmit on. And then, real important, is make sure you get to number 67. Make sure the baud rate is uh, up here at 115.2K. Uh, Go out of there. And then make sure over here where it says ATT and RX antenna, hold that in till you get RX antenna 1. Go ahead and turn the radio off. Now then, for setting up the uh, 890, uh, what you want to do is go into the menu, uh, get, scroll down to uh, group 7, rear connectors, uh, configuration, hit select. Want to make sure that the baud rate right here is uh, 115.2 kilo, uh, K. And uh, you can select it, and then you can dial it here with a multifunction. So we're going to dial that in, hit the escape key, and then scroll down to uh, transfer quick data. And uh, the default is off, but what we're going to do is turn it on. So you highlight it, use the uh, multi-channel uh, knob right here, right here, to select it. Or you can actually do this right here, use the buttons. And you want to select A, uh, parentheses, transmit and receive. Hit escape. So then you want to go right up here to antenna out, RX antenna. And you want to hold that in until you get this uh, arrow, circled arrow through. All right, so now we got the radio, both radios set up. We want to turn them off. Okay, so now we're going to take our, uh, our DB9 null, make sure it's a null. And we're going to put it uh, one end into the uh, 890 COM port right over here. And then the uh, other one, other end is going to go inside of the uh, COM port for the 590. Connect uh, one of the shielded RF, ca RF cable to uh, RX antenna of the 590. And then connect the other end to antenna out on the 890. So now we have everything all cooked. Uh, connected. We're going to power up both radios. Once they power up, you're going to hit split on the 890 right here. And you want to make sure that the TX is over on this side here. So now if you 
or dialing a frequency right here. If you're doing split operations, and uh, I'm, I'm, I'll be the first to admit that some of you know a whole lot more about split operations. Well, what you can do is, is uh, receive a signal up here. And then you hit the Q hyphen MNN and it'll transfer this information to here and then you can make a transmission by here. So that's about it. Uh, this is it's um, kind of a simple setup and again uh, those of you that do split operations and this will work in uh, all the modes for CW um, whatever mode this radio is in. So if I put this in CW and I go down here in the CW bands and uh, I'm in uh, sideband here, when I hit uh, uh, QMN right here, uh, it changes the mode and it changes the frequency. You can make a transmission. So that's about it. If you have any more uh, questions about your 890, uh, please email me at uh, W6GPS at yahoo.com. Anyway, don't, don't get rid of that 590. It's a great radio. You can hook it up here to your uh, 890 and have a sub receiver. 73s and uh, have a good day.